Story The Monkey and Tiger In a jungle there lived many animals together amongst the many animals there was a naughty monkey too his name was Chiku Chiku used to trouble all the other animals day in and day out You keep throwing banana skins here and there every time you eat them Chiku if someone slips on these banana skins and gets badly hurt then who will be responsible for their injuries Who will be responsible He will be responsible for it himself because he did not see where he was going Where is my fault in this I just ate a banana and threw its skin right there whether or not someone steps on it or does not step on it it's their own responsibility Monkey you are only concerned about your own self but you do not even care if someone falls and gets hurt due to the banana skins that you have been scattering here and there you are so selfish you just want to do your mischief if you do not stop your antics and start behaving yourself i will complain about you to the king of the jungle the lion okay okay fine go and complain about me i am not scared of any lion at all the rabbit goes and complains about the monkey to the lion and the lion calls the monkey in his cave monkey i have received a lot of complaints about you your antiques are increasing day by day you are not even worried about hurting others in the jungle why are you scattering banana skins all over the jungle if someone gets hurt due to these then it is against the laws of the jungle monkey do you not know that okay my king I will be careful from now on. Despite this, the monkey's naughtiness does not get lessened. He keeps doing mischief all the time. One day, he caught a mouse and hung him upside down by his tail. The mouse started screaming in fear. All the animals went to the king lion and complained about him after all the animals were completely troubled. They all decide to complain about him together and say to the lion, "Oh king, may you live long." The monkey is causing havoc in the jungle. He constantly troubles all the animals. Just yesterday, he held me by my tail and caused me a lot of trouble. He hung me upside down and made my head spin too. Help me, king. All the animals vouched for the truth in the mouse's complaint and also complained about the monkey themselves. The lion after hearing everything called the monkey in his cave. and the monkey appears before the king monkey i gave you a last warning a few days ago that you need to stop troubling others like this or else i will punish you it seems that you do not care about what i told you the other day but my king what have i done now you keep pestering all the animals in the jungle you do not spare anyone from your antiques all the animals are fed up with you and all of them had come to complain about you to me oh king but this is who i am i want to play with everyone and i just want to have fun with everyone but i do not know why everyone thinks of this as my naughtiness i want to play and mingle with everyone in the jungle i talk to everyone but all of them take my words differently and feel bad and see that is what happened today my king they came to you with my complaints no monkey all this is against the laws of our jungle you are breaking all the laws of the jungle our jungle rule says that no animal will trouble any other animal but you are troubling everyone by being a naughty monkey now i will punish you i am not going to spare you my king please no i request do not punish me from today your punishment is that you are being thrown out of the jungle for misconduct you won't be in the jungle now and so you won't be able to trouble anyone either the lion tells the monkey to stay out of the jungle and so the monkey starts living on a tree outside the jungle one day the monkey was jumping up and down on the tree and a circus car was going on the jungle road and in it was the king of the lion who was captured by the circus people he was astonished to see this then he ran and went towards the jungle rabbit ant 
Mouse, listen to me or listen. Rabbit, listen to me and listen to me now. A king of the jungle has been caught. He has been caught. He has been caught. What happened, Chiku Monkey? Why are you so worried? You've been asked to stay out of the jungle. Then what are you doing in the jungle? Come on, tell me. Rabbit, and I saw that a king lion was caught and taken by the circus people. We have to save our king, else they will put him to work as one of the circus animals at the circus. What are you saying, monkey? Have they really taken away our king from the jungle? Yes, yes, yes. All of us quickly need to go and free him from the circus people. I have a plan in my mind. Let's go quickly. Let's go. I will tell you about it on the way. The monkey and his four friends run behind the circus car. The monkey and the rabbit start disturbing the driver of the circus car. The other person who had caught the lion was sitting near the cage and the ant went inside his ear and started biting him and the mouse quickly took the opportunity to cut the net of the lion which made the lion free from the enclosure and he gets down from the truck. Oh, where did these animals come from? They have freed the lion from our captivity. We were taking him to the circus so that we could earn money from him. But now this lion will eat us up. Run, run from here. I am grateful to all of you animals. You have all saved me from a bad fate. Don't thank us, King Lion. Thank the monkey. He was the one who told us the plan to set you free, O oh King. It was he who told us that the people from circus are taking you away. Yes, King Lion. So long we had been focusing only on his mischiefs, but he considers us as his family. We thought he was naughty and kept complaining about him. Today, due to his intelligence, we were able to get back our king. Monkey, I will never forget this favor by you in my entire life. I punished you. And yet you saved me from going to the circus. I thank you with all my heart and soul, monkey. From today onwards, you won't have any problems in the jungle. Now you can again be a part of our jungle family from today onwards. You too can be a part of our family, monkey. There is nothing to thank me, King Lion. It was my responsibility. I had to save the king of the jungle. You punished me for my antics. That was your responsibility, King. Maybe the animals really thought of my antics as troublesome. But I really thought of them as my family. Today, they have understood my real intentions. For me, there is nothing more important than that, my King. Yes, Monkey. From today, you are a part of our jungle again. I welcome you back to our jungle. From today onwards, you and I will stay as good friends in the jungle and we will help each other like this till we stay here in this jungle. Do one thing, you become my minister from now. The lion and the monkey became good friends and they started living in harmony in the jungle from then on. He became the minister and helped the lion in all affairs. All the animals in the jungle were very happy with the monkey.